You have not asked for Play-Doh in like four months. Why now do you want Play-Doh? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Okay, all right, bro. <laughs> we could we could that be the, we could have that be the intro. You want that to be the intro? That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, can make that the intro. We, we should definitely start with him just saying, "Why do you want Play-Doh right now?" We, we can do with the clap later. Who cares? Uh, this is Lord here, episode thirty-three. By the way, hey, Alec is coming back. Maybe he'd be able to, to, to hop on board with the episode. <laughs> it's a slightly, slightly scuffed setup for Alec today. He has to take care of his daughter, and he's in the uh, the dining room with her today. Not he's got his setup. Halloween mix, though. You know, He does have the Halloween mix of 50 yeah. different, it would appear to be Lay's chips. Well, I, can't, I can't even see how. Is that Cheetos? Doritos? Hot Cheetos? Yeah, maybe Ooh, hot Cheetos. Bunions? Regular Lay's? And maybe salt and vinegar? What's the, is that? Is salt and vinegar like salt or the and blue vinegar, bag? Man. I'm a fan. I've never a liked fan. salt and vinegar personally. No, it's an acquired no, it's just, taste it, for sure. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the vinegar taste, except if it's in like buffalo sauce. That's probably the most vinegary tasting mm. thing that I enjoy. I love I love me some point. buffalo sauce. I made I made buffalo chicken dip last night. Come to think of it, made some buffalo uh, sauce motherfucker, is good, man. Bro. This motherfucker. Hey, we, All right. Oh, we, we already started, started, bro. That was the intro. That was yeah. not the intro. <laughs> that was the intro. Yeah, it was actually. We were the, that was the, the, not the, the intro. Why do you want to play it? It was. No, was we're not intro. joking. We're, we're recording the episode. We've been recording for two minutes. Right, Hopefully, fine. you have your audio recorded. No, I don't. Too bad. <laughs> we, you were gone anyways. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what her what, vocal stem of the week, the week is? Uh, she's singing Astronomia. Astro, where'd that come from? Very nice. Uh, I, she heard it once and she's been hooked ever since. Isn't that the <laughs> coffin dance song? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's that she song? Loves, okay. She loves that shit. Like, <laughs> she just sings it at the top of her lungs as loud as possible. And you know what? Hey. Wow, well, she's just like me, for real. She's just for like, real, yeah, real. exactly. Real for that. Anyway, uh, how are you guys doing? I'm Alive, doing good. Man. Alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel oh, it. Pearl Jam? Oh, uh. Yes. That, it so, so brings me into my... Oh, hold on. We got to take a small detour. We got to talk Already? About, yeah. Trust me. I, we're talking about vocal stems. We're talking about even flow. I have it just for you. Let me go find this on my, oh, on my computer. Flow. I, I, I love that the song at the off-season two in Arlington, Texas. In Arlington, oh. Texas. That was the other night, at the eSports e Stadium, hosted by Team yeah. Summertime and Optic Games. Shout Optic out. Optic Gaming. Yeah. Gaming. Not the We're games. Gaming. Like, why, did, why did I say games? <laughs> Sorry, Hitch. I found this, inst I I found this Instagram like account. Game company. I found this Instagram oh, account that just what, does like, oh, what is this? It just does gay parodies of songs. So this is Semen Flow by, by Pearl Jam. <laughs> oh no! It's not necessarily this song. That's <laughs> no, no, my no. My, my, my favorite one, one was the. Uh, uh, it, it was uh, the my curse, my curse one. My curse was oh, crazy. Yeah, my, that one was insane. Was yeah, insane. this is great. <laughs> this one's not even necessarily gay. It's just it's just crass. Yeah, it is. Is that what you would call it? <laughs> I want to see yeah. that on one of those shitty lyric cards. This is even necessarily gay. It's just crass. <laughs> yeah, like, I, like genius know, explain the music. Yeah, genius. What, what was the one that you showed me? It was like it was like all the old heads. Like it pans to the, the crowd oh, and all the old heads. That was like, uh, that was that was seventy two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> That was so good. That was, that was stretch yeah, yeah, my like, ass. You'd see all the fans in the crowd. They're all like dad and shit. Just singing like, along. I feel like we've collectively yeah. scrambled our brains in the last few weeks. Like straight oh, up. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Oh yeah. Need this no loop for 14 dude. <laughs> this is not normal and this is I mean That's look at my goddamn shirt. This is an AI Joe what Biden racing. Shirt, I mean, this is fucking AI. It says let's let's go racing or whatever the fuck. Is that dude, AI? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. This is this is like shirt, it's like a year old. This is a year old. This Yo, is like shirts that go hard.com or whatever That's, that was. That's insane, bro. Yeah. Episode oh, JP, you just, I mean, you just said you just said that him. shit on a I mean, podcast, bro. You just dog whistled this <laughs> oh, so many no. Wait, what did you just so say? So many uh interesting individuals. What did you say? I didn't hear it. I it's didn't catch fine, it. It's fine. No, JP no, I need just to know. went let's go Brandon and I was like, bro. <laughs> yeah, dog whistled. We got a dog whistler here. If anybody Arr. doesn't understand that reference, Arr. uh that was actually I'm not going to go through it. If you yeah, know you know. Bother. If you know you know. If you haven't heard fucking let's go Brandon at this point, that's on you. That's not Scrambled you for just egg not, being, not being present you, you, in the, you know, in we, the world. We went through a whirlwind of things. We're talking about, get, we're talking about gay rock parodies. 
AI Joe Biden shirt. Let's go, Brandon. That, that's a holy trinity right there. Spectrum. Yeah, you know I mean? Man, do you guys want to restart? I mean, come on. Hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah. hey, no, no, no. This is actually perfect because the new season of Fortnite is called Wrecked, and that's what we are. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, there wrecked. we go. Do you Good guys, I bet you guys have Great not played segue. any BR yet. Have you guys? Played I have any not. BR I was yet? going to yesterday. I played Fortnite I, in general. I, I was going to play okay, some so, I didn't have time. Let me give you guys something that's actually relevant. Here we go. In the new BR season, there is a new point of interest. There's a new place to go. It's called the Nitrodrome. It's uh, it feels very similar to like a like a tilted towers. Everyone's landing there. Everybody's checking it out. It's just a big arena with like death spinning saws and crazy traps. And it's cool. But the thing that's really neat about it is there's music playing in it while you're fighting other people. So like original play... music? No, songs that are already in festival. So. Hail to the oh. King by Avenged Sevenfold randomly plays there, as well as Ruby Soho by Rancid. But here's where it gets fun. Two songs are playing there that are not in festival yet. So it might be a teaser for the future. And it's big bands because it's Joan Jett and freaking Judas Priest. Yeah, oh, got to have Judas Priest for this season. <laughs> Yo. For the vibes you're going with on this season, Judas Priest fits in perfectly. So Bad Reputation by Joan Jett plays there. You can just the randomly Shrek get the song. I give a damn. And Breaking the Law by Judas Priest. I played it there. Breaking the Law. Breaking the Law. I was like, wait, what Judas? Yo, that's like the resident Guitar Hero TV song. Every time you would get on, it would definitely be playing on Channel One. That was frequent. 100%. Shout out to Plumato. Me and him, we would joke all the time and be like, dude, Breaking the Law is always fucking playing. I don't want to hear this song anymore. So we'd be like, Breaking the Law. Breaking the Law. But just, yeah, no, Judas Priest is a long time coming. If there's if there's any time to add heavy big bands like these, you know, like th this is it is. Oh, this, this is gonna be the this is gonna be the rock and metal season. Like I'm just calling it based on the theming alone. I mean, rec like oh, yeah. you know, yeah. like the, the 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 aesthetic of the characters, like the everything, their outfits. Outfits. I mean, I mean they're the, called out the, the trailer. The trailer I... had Fuel by Metallica. That just came to the game yes! last week, yeah. and then the trailer used that song. So that's why it got pushed right now. Is because that's like their. That's like what they're pushing. Sense. Yeah, and and I mean it fits the theme of the season too because they specifically are doing like a summer themed season, a play with your friends. This season for BR doesn't look like it's going to be like as fun for solo players because it's a lot of it is vehicle combat, mm -hmm. vehicles with you know giant mounted guns and just. Very people are saying unserious gameplay. That's uh, what Fortnite the, is, baby. What are you like, talking about? It's like what Fortnite is. We literally had yeah. a Marvel season. Like, we literally had fucking you know Zeus I mean? with your lightning bolts, and you were able to fly with your wings, and you had fucking Avatar like, water bending. Serious. Yeah. Yeah. Fortnite is so you know, beyond saw, being a serious game. Let's come on. Be real. I saw someone yeah. be like, "Oh, welcome back, to Twisted Metal," and I'm like, "Hey, you know what? Hey, <laughs> I'm Twisted down with Metal it. is the I'm shit." Down. I still have Great not game. seen that show, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. Or have I? I don't know. But I hey, the show you know was what? I didn't watch it, but I heard it was bad. Damn, damn, tough crowd. No, All right, I, just I, made I, it I up. think uh, you know. That being said, like car combat type games, that's my shit right there. That's uh, hopefully it taps into the audience that um, you know that they're looking for. Because like I, I also saw that the. The opening day, man, what am I saying? Like the player base this is like the lowest. It is intro, the lowest player base that like has checked out this new season. And like, you know, they launched on a Friday. It's like, you know, it's it's maybe does it have choice. to do with all these other games that are doing crazy stuff right now? I know X Defiant just came out, but is that game any good? You know, Honk Shoe Me Me Me. I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel know. like that game's dead on arrival. I haven't played it. I played the beta. It seemed cool enough, but they just kept pushing back the release date. That, was, that shit was supposed to launch before Modern Warfare 3. It's like mm. six months past Modern Warfare 3 now, and it just launched. To, with, with like little to no marketing around it. Like that game is probably going to die in less than a month. Next to That's five. seeming more, more mar common these days. They market it as, hey, we're, call we, uh, we're better Call of Duty. Um, yeah, I mean, we're Call of Duty, but play, different, and the game feels worse. By the way, we're a small development. Hey, you, you remember this guy that used to work on Call of Duty? He works for us now. He makes this game uh, now. Oh, uh, you don't remember him? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to rack my brain to see <laughs> remember what his head was or what his name was too. He was like he was like one of the big guys though. He was like in the Model for three like 2011 uh, like trailer videos. What's his name? Mark Rubin. That's who it is. Uh, Mark Rubin. Yeah, he yeah. works at the uh, X Defiant now. He's like the studio head for that game. 
I don't know. I haven't I was, played it. Oh, it looks cool. Oh, God. I was about to say, isn't that the guy that owns the NBA team? That's Cuban. That's, that's Mark Cuban. That's Mark Cuban. <laughs> He's the team that's beating my fucking Timberwolves. I thought you were going to pull out Robert Bowling. <laughs> no, that's a different studio. What, what's Robert Bowling doing? He just came back recently into the cultural zeitgeist. He's doing some other thing. Is it him and... He's with Dr. Disrespect. He's doing the Dr. Disrespect oh, game. Oh, he's doing that NFT game? Yeah. Is yeah. that still happening? I don't fucking know. I don't watch Dr. Disrespect. Probably. Mm. I don't you know. know. It, 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 it's funny with, like, NFT stuff because, like, um... Did you, did you guys, did you guys see the whole controversy with, like, the, the Rabbit R1 by any chance? Yeah. That yeah. Scam oh, device. yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah and, like, they did, like, NFTs, Didn't Co like, CoffeeZilla just dropped a video on it, right? Yeah. He did. Well, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I That's kind of like a dead shot right there. I don't know. That, yeah, that's it's just over me. That, that guy, that guy knows his over. shit. No matter well, who two, you are. It's a two-parter. As well, he two does pounds. his research. Yeah, I'm just saying he does his well, fucking my, research. My my friend is um my friend is editor in chief at uh, XDA, and so he he had bought one for review. One What's XDA? One, and so we were we were out to dinner, and he was like he was like yeah this thing cool fucking sucks. <laughs> like he he pointed it like I got like a I got like a a chicken parm hero, and he pointed it and he was like hey rabbit what tell me what this is, and it did not know what it was. I had no idea. I saw, I saw a compilation of people just asking you to do very basic things. Like, here, what's this? They're, they were holding out a tortilla chip. It's like, this is a taco. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, said, this is a taco. <laughs> no, it ain't. <laughs> hey, can you, you get me a ride? Right, at least. Sorry, ride sharing services are unavailable at this moment. They never were, I don't think. Oh, it is yeah, an I Android only, app. I only, I, only brought, I only brought it up just because like, it came out like that the guys who worked on it, of course, had an NFT project beforehand. You Man, know, like, how am I so seems not surprised? Seems like part of the course, right? Like, Cri crypto bros are migrating over to being AI bros. Yes, that's exactly what they're doing. 100%. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would, and it wouldn't be like an unfairly lumped in group of people. They're they're kind of the same dudes. I, yeah, like, it is the same dudes. Yeah, The same premise, you know? Same Same type of mindset. I feel like this is going to sound dumb coming from me, who's the youngest here, but I feel like as I grow older, I start to uh, discover patterns within people. Like, I was I was kind of into the, the whole crypto thing in 2017 when Bitcoin first went above 20K. I bought some Bitcoin. I, I was in that space for a bit. I was never a crypto bro by any means, but I followed it so I could make fr free internet money. And I did. I made some free internet money. But, like, seeing the people that interact with that shit... Like their brains are fundamentally broken on a on a on like yeah. a, a surprising yes. level, like they are they have the they are incapable of critical thinking, and um, being able to snuff out uh, fakes and frauds and scams. Like they they are the most willing to fall for scam people I've ever encountered. They do they in my do life. fall for scams a lot actually. That's because yeah, like... the majority of that space is just scams. Yeah, there's a like, lot of, like, fake... Yo, um, I really believe in the project. You know, these guys are doing great work. You know, these guys are fucking saving the bees or whatever. No, you're fucking not. You're see, doing and, nothing. And you know bees. what? Like, it's not a, It's not even, like, a new concept. You know, like, the, nope, people just a different, hold, like, different, seminars different, in different massive different buildings at massive conventions. They've been yeah. doing this for decades well, and history, decades Well, history and repeats decades. itself, just, though, you know? Yeah it's, a, it, uh, yeah, it's a case of, like, history repeating itself. You know, there's a there, it's a generational type thing. It's like, okay, who's the biggest and the loudest and the most likable person to sell this fucking scam? Fat Joe! And, who, and who's the biggest uh, he, sucker to go buy it? Fat Joe, the rapper, who's doing pyramid schemes in like 2015 yes. or something. Man, yeah, like, it, this is really, this is just a new generation of pyramid schemes. This is just your, your, your It really is. Like, there's a bunch chefs, of, like, fake, your, like, your, investment, fake your investment nots. websites that, like, you can, you can buy templates for this shit. Like, you can literally buy a template for a fake investment website and control all the numbers, and, like, none of the money's real. So, like, that's listen, how they trick people, you know? It's listen, insane. man, listen. Pivoting off of this, can we bring back, uh, what is it, Ape Hero, Jason? <laughs> Dude, oh, Ape no. Hero, oh my god. Yo. Legendary. Yeah, that's not really legendary. That's a throwback. That's that was a posted throwback. on Reddit, right? No, that, that, dude, that I, happened I on Twitter. A... That was on Twitter. Okay. video about that was... at one point. Well, yeah, yeah didn't yeah. they? Okay. Didn't, I didn't Randy, like, short. They Bro, reached Randy, out to like, Randy. destroyed them, too. Yeah, they wanted Randy yeah. to they play did, they Yeah, they, they were yeah. like, yo, can you play this game? Randy was like, no. <laughs> no fucking thanks. That's what NFT stands yeah, for. Yeah, if you guys don't know what ha! Ape Hero was, it was a NFT Guitar Hero game. <laughs> Never came to fruition. 
It's a shame that NFT games still exist. Like, I'm really sad about that because, hey, I'm a giant wrestling fan. I say that a lot. Um, there's been a new, like, card collection game that AEW is pushing. Uh, long story short, if you download it and log in and, like, check it out, it's actually a hidden NFT game. And, like, that's just, it's, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. I understand why so many people in this generation uh, are, like, very much skeptical when they see content. Because so many things out there are trying to either scam or make a buck off of people. And bringing it back to the Fortnite festival side of things, I think that's why we have such a struggle with um, sharing news at points where people are necessarily not believing what we're saying because uh, they're trained to be skeptical because so many people are trying to take advantage of them. Because I they have to be. That, make, that makes a whole lot of sense, actually. Yeah. And like, we're just kind of unfairly like, once again, this is like a getting lumped in with like a group of people who are trying to take advantage of the general public while we have been just kind of doing our thing and just sharing what we like. Yeah, hey and guys, we, we just, really like this game, we a, and we think you would like it too. Here, come play the game. Look at the cool things this game is doing. By the way, this is all real. We're not lying to you. We're not trying to mislead you. And then they're you. like, no. Hey, JK, buddy, how about, you, how about you go fuck yourself, huh? Eh, how about that? <laughs> let, hey, let how, me... about, how about you play this, buddy? <laughs> bitch. Damn, let me go bitch. on a little bit of a rant real quick, because this Do feels it. like the perfect place for it, okay? Do it. Do it. Hold the front door. I have been looked down upon for a very long time as not as skilled as other people, right? Mm -hmm. And now we've got this tight ass engine in Fortnite Festival. And what mm -hmm. did I do? I went and ground it out and I freaking got first place on what, 50 different songs in the game. And now people are saying, oh, this is too hard. Hey, mm. bitch, I did it. You can do it too. If I'm as bad as people have said, <laughs> if I'm as bad, I'm 50 <laughs> plus freaking first place globals on the leaderboard. Get my ass. Come Get do better. it. Get better! Let's go! What the Is fuck? That, that, that was like your wrestling entrance, or like, you know, now, now you got the microphone. Yeah, yeah. You got the in, fucking in, in microphone. The promo yeah, yeah, get the promo. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get some festival promo vids going on. I know Chad's wanting to do some shit like that too, bro. Hey, maybe hey. we can do that with the leaked battle Ooh. mode that might be coming. Ooh. Battle stage, uh -oh. baby! The battle stage. Oh, yeah. The, the best outcome is that there are notes that put the other player at a disadvantage, give them like bombs or something. Like I don't guitar know. Hero 3 that style. Is the, some sort of Guitar Hero 3 battle type beat because that is what everybody has wanted for well, 17 years. It also years. makes me wonder, like, uh, like like player count right like i wonder about like like what's like the maximum number of players like is it going to be 1v1 or is it going to be more than that like because we talked I hope about there's like, multiple the whole, different modes like we've talked about the whole like guitar hero 99 thing right and like yes that would is be that ideal. is that what's going to happen here you know like, i doubt it you, uh, well not 99 maybe <laughs> rosie know, okay, doesn't want hold 99 on. hold on if you pick solo for BR in Fortnite, how many players are there? Not yeah, I know, but I don't think it's going to happen for this. You know, it's for the, rhythm the, game. No, yeah, it's there. hard to say for a rhythm game, I guess. Yeah, I right? know it'd be like, it'd be really fucking cool if the. I'll be frank, player base, that'd be hard. You can only have a couple yeah. lobbies going at any given moment if it's up that's to a 99. good point. Well, good who's point. not to say that the game mode would bring new people to it potentially too? It Maybe. might. I hope it does. I hope, it, I hope does, it does because now you because for people who aren't interested in you know, like, competitive, because this is a different type of competitive play, which is great, because, mm -hmm. like, competitive for you guys right now is FCing songs, right? Yep, and getting, and getting like, first yep. on leaderboards. But this is a different type of competitive. It's just fun, to put it yeah, yeah, just it's fun. fun. It's just who know? can perform better right now at this given moment against exactly. another player. And Not I love just it. sitting for yeah, two hours writing like, a song. We can theorize, like, what it's actually going to entail in terms of, like, who's, who can win, how can we do that? I think my thing here is that when most people are getting into these lobbies, they're not going to own all the songs. But if we or anybody else who is like hoarding songs, right, they're going to get access to everything. Yeah, that's sick. The yes. pool grows Which massively. Because awesome. otherwise, actually, shit, I didn't think about that. If if it's only restricted to like songs that you own, or I guess, and also the featured songs for that matter. I was going to say otherwise, it'd just be like Epic Games, Epic Games, Epic Games, Epic Games. Hey, we're going to play Butter Barn, or we're going to play Winter Time Wish, or we're going to play Winter, Winter Fest Wish. Yeah, Don't you or, dare yeah. insult Winterfest wish. I will do that I will every day fuck of the that week. song. <laughs> yeah, that thing. The common mm. Winterfest wish, L. Uh, but yeah, the, the, it would have to like be curated off of like the, the featured drums, songs or something like that, or the new songs. Yeah, drums go hard in that song, but sure. Uh, well, because otherwise it would just be a, 
I don't know. Owning songs is one difficult. Thing, one thing I wonder on the, the topic of, like, like, like battle power-ups, right? Like, what if overdrive works differently? What if they do something Good. with that? What if, yeah, like, I mean, when you gain overdrive, you can attack other players? Like, like Guitar Hero 3. That's what I would hope. Yeah. Saying, I, I would man, hope it's, like, mode. a Guitar Hero 3-style battle mode, but with, like, 99 players. Or, or less than that. Yeah. 48? Because it sounds like for battle 12? mode, like... Like, like for battle mode, like, is it last man standing? Is it who gets the highest score? Like, we don't know, you know? Yeah. 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 And it, maybe that's all speculation right now. Yeah, yeah. And maybe it's like, I believe we talked about a, a sort of, com- of, of a competitive mode in this game before. I think Alec brought up like the guitar hero, like competitive modes where there's like, there's like a king of the hill type mode or whatever, where there was like yes. intervals throughout the song where like, if you had a certain, like the highest score would, would stay. And if you had like a lower score, you'd get dropped out of the song. You'd be like eliminated mm-hmm. from the song. What if it's like that? I think that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I like the yeah. idea. Like, like every every thirty seconds, you know, it's like, oh, there's twenty people playing. Okay, these these four people have the lowest scores. You're out, and then the rest of the yeah. song continues playing, and then it's just like a battle royale in that sense. You know, the circle's it, it, it closing keeps in, the flow going. but it's just score. Yeah, or maybe it's over a course of songs. Maybe it's a maybe it's five songs. Maybe it's three songs. Maybe it's who knows. Best, Best of, of X seven. amount. Yeah, seven, or, or maybe maybe yeah, I mean, maybe that yeah, happens we, after every we song. We go back to the days. We go back to the days of playing Guitar Hero Three online on Xbox Live or on PlayStation Network. And there's just like, okay, we well do pro face off best of number, best of five, mm-hmm. best yeah. of seven. I, I think I mostly played like best of fives against randoms, like that type, that type of shit. So it it would be boring as fuck if it was just like one or two songs. So it's gotta be like a best of type. I hope type it's like, like a playlist of songs. It has yeah. to because yeah. you can if if say that it's um I'm just theorizing right now. Four V four. Four people could be in the lobby, and you could go against another set of four people. So it's Yo, band if, versus band. On. Yeah, what if it's band versus band, not just individuals? If, it, if it's band versus band, please. Squads. Because, please. There's there's squads. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, solos. Fire Monkey Tweet does solos, solos, duos, and squads. trios, and squads. If they do trios, that'd be very surprising if they do trios. But like I said, it's, it's the, it, you know, how Fortnite functions with Battle Royale or most of their other games, too. You can go in with a buddy or buddies to fight against other people and their buddy and buddies. You know? Yeah. Yeah, one so, thing that, like, difficulty scaling as well, Exactly, right? too. Like, you know, like, easy, like, like what if somebody... Like, how is that going to work, you know? What if, what yeah. if you know, your boy who's never played uh, Festival before, or any rhythm game for that matter, and he's just like, alright, bro, yeah. I don't want to play, I don't want to play Rocket Racing right now, I don't want to play BR right now, how about, you know, how about we just try out Festival? Please, man, we're, we're all here. <laughs> Please, bro, I just want to play I, a game with the boys. How is it going to work if somebody's on easy, and then you got... Somebody like me, like shredding on expert, you know. Is it going to be face-off rules with score? Like that's that's possible. Thing to is it going to be face-off yeah. sections, like you know, yes. regular face-off where we play a phrase and then they play a phrase? To to I don't. I wouldn't like that personally. Field. I would not like that. But what no. if it's like yeah. that? But but it could be like that. We have nothing to go off of here. We only know yeah, that we mode really exists. Don't. Like this is and this the is rest all... of it is one hundred percent speculation. We know it's, that mode exists. It's all speculation. Can I just throw yeah, something in here real back. quick, just based on what they already do? Oh yeah, go 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hey. What first of all, what made Fortnite popular? It was oh, yeah. BR, right? Save the world. And actually, what do they do? <laughs> oh come on! I, actually the I tower love defense Save game. the world. I do. I love where would it, Fortnite be if not for the Save the World? Where would it be? It'd be nowhere because that's what the game was. Fair enough. Back in 2012. <laughs> Joking. Whatever. Beside the point. Beside the point, the thing that made Fortnite as popular as it was, like afterward, they, the big upgrade, BR, getting people in the door, right? They want to have a, a seasonal updates on it where things are always changing. So maybe we see the same thing with a battle mode here where it's not always the same, where every season maybe there's different power ups where things get vaulted, where it's always a constantly evolving experience. I That's like a that possibility. That would be very like fresh. Yeah. Yeah. I like that yeah. a lot. So going back to like, I want it to be like a best of type thing. What's the shortest songs in the game? Like, because it would be it'd Two be minutes. boring as fuck if it was like four, four v four. Everybody's already up, and then it's just one song, and then flickering somehow, flame. Flickering some flame. yeah. Somehow everybody agreed on flickering flame or song two or uh, Boys the Liar from this two. week is pretty short. You know, like astronaut in the ocean. Astronaut in the ocean is also short as fuck. Well, what's another one? Loving on me. That's sure. also a short yeah, track. Yeah, Jack Harlow songs are pretty short. What's popping? Lots of short, lots of like two minute tracks. So it's like it's got to be a best of because I feel like matches have to go probably like a minimum of like ten minutes easily. 
Then okay, you got your carry so on wayward we... sons, and you're killing the names. And the, like, yeah, and then you got you got you got fucking your get lows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> going back to BR. Hey, storm circle shrinks, Ooh. right? So over time, more okay. and more people get eliminated. What if it's similar here, where there's some mechanic where it's like people are slowly getting eliminated, and then you get down to an eventual winner? Right. I'm just I'm thinking of what mechanics are already in Fortnite BR and how that they, they could turn that translate. into a rhythm game. Yeah. Yeah. And then because if, if it's similar to what regular Battle Royale players are familiar with, that would be more uh, it would be easier for them to jump into this new type of game, even though it yeah, is a completely like different type. Of, but having a familiarity would probably help. Dude, the concept yeah. of like the storm, like fighting off the storm as a player in like a in like a. Like, whatever player count actually sounds interesting, right? Like, like you fight it off with, like, score, like, power-ups or something? Keep your HP up. Yeah. Yeah, you're, like, you're always fending off against, like, this this impending doom. Like, the, the, the yeah, more you like, hit the I, notes, I like, like, I like, like that meter, idea. Like, the meter's rising, that's the blue zone, but they, you keep hitting notes, it kind of like pushes it back. You know what I mean? Oh, if you start missing it notes, keep, oh, it's, it it's you, catching you. It's catching you. Better not miss notes. It keeps oh, you on your toes. Good. Rock, rock you know? band uh, tug-of-war mode. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, tug-of-war. Yeah, and who move. who made who made festival? Who made Man. tug of war? Never soft in Activision. Of... Oh wait, Stop. no, it's harmonics. No, bitch, no. <laughs> <laughs> move, bitch, get out the. Mm. Get low, well, get speaking low. Of songs, window, speaking of songs, speaking of songs that also got leaked too. I didn't play any oh, yeah. of the battle pass songs yet. I know Jake did. I played Ooh, all of them. Yeah. I can speak on them. I, Please do. I, I, I only played the first. To, like leveled up for that. Yeah, I just so, bought the battle pass yesterday. My boy, like, uh, Lil Big JP. There's a third JP that I know now. Jason Paradise and also Jean Paul, J JP 760 Creations. Uh, and so this Lil Big JP fellow, his name's also Jake, by the way. Um, the, he they did an exploit back in the day, uh, you, by using like Argentinian currency to purchase V Bucks. And you're directly calling this motherfucker out for this. God, <laughs> this damn. is public. He told me all about this in my Twitch chat. <laughs> So oh, it's okay, out there. bad, 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 bad. Fair, fair, <laughs> to the world to fair enough, fair they enough. They said this publicly, I can say it publicly too. So they, they bought up a shit ton of V-Bucks, so now they just have a, a they, they are V-Bucks rich, so now they just buy up all the battle passes, like day one. Uh, so so they have they have access to all the all the uh, the songs now from the battle pass. So the first two are pretty early on. I bought the battle pass with with, with 25 extra levels, so I, I unlocked the first two. Um, but the the last one Cheater. is unlocked at like level 90 or something like that. Hey, I got, I had 30, th 3,600 V-Bucks. All right. Well, you I can, thought I was about to say it. like thirty thousand. Oh, bro, <laughs> no, little bros thirty six hundred Fortnite. Yeah, no, let's I don't go. play that much Fortnite. Okay, give me give me a break. Let's go. Um, but anyways, the, the last song I believe it's called Lord of the Wasteland is unlocked after level ninety. That song kind of rips. That, that that is a that is like a hard. When I say hard, I'm not saying difficulty hard. I'm saying like it goes hard. Like it's got some some low chuggy guitars. It's got some harsh vocals. It's it's a fairly decent song. It's fun on most instruments. I played it. I played in all six. In fact, I believe the day that we're recording this Sunday, I'm, I'll be uploading videos of all these, so you guys will be able to see this. By the time that you, the by the by the, this episode's out, you, you you could go to my channel and watch all these gameplays. But Fire and Steel, Lord of the Wasteland, and then and... pee like me, pee like me. <laughs> that song is fucking hilarious. I like the little pee pod characters they got this season. They're oh, cute. Pee like pee like me. me. That's P E A by the way. Oh, is it? It is. It is pee like what's, me as in a pee pod. What's the difference? Well, one is urine, <laughs> and the other, and the other is a vegetable, a vegetable. Honestly, peas are a pretty good vegetable. I, I enjoy peas. Not gonna lie. I've never been a I've never been a pea enjoyer. You could say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna get clipped. <laughs> well, that's a good clip. I, I, I'm, I'm beating allegations. I hate but, pissing. Uh, <laughs> No, I don't. Uh, I don't mind pissing. I don't like. I, w I would say I don't like. We're, we're gonna stop. We're, gonna, we're <laughs> not gonna continue with that sentence. What were we uh, talking about again? Battle pass songs. Uh, yeah, battle pass songs. Yeah. So Lord of the Wasteland's pretty sick. That's a good one. Uh, if you, whenever you guys get to level ninety, definitely don't forget to pick that up because it's a pretty decent song. Uh, Fire and Steel is pretty cool too. Uh, that has a couple of harsh vocal sections that kind of caught me off guard. The drums are pretty fun. That song got a couple of nice fills. Uh, and P like me. The vocals are, is a very tough chart. That's that's a, I think that's a seven difficulty in vocals. So it's very fun. Ooh. Yeah, I've heard that it's max, I, but I haven't seen the chart yet. Yeah, it's it, there's not a lot of lifts. Speaking, like you're doing a lot of just fast button pushing. Ooh. Speaking it's of rap, the game right? play, the pop vocal. Be, kind bro, of. Yeah. Speaking of gameplay, you can now have the the green, red, yellow, blue, orange on. Oh my god, confusing a lot of changes. people. Oh my god, people. there's so many gameplay oh, changes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, which like look okay look let let's overlook all the good things or like. 
let's overlook and talk about all the good things before we get into what's been confusing so many people. Because sure. I don't really think it's that bad. I think it's just it feels yeah. like it's a miscommunication at this point between us it and is. the general public, which it's is just fine like because no, we should have no really seen official this shit communication. Coming. Yeah, because like you can only do so much when you're supposed to read something. You need a fucking yeah. full ass Hollywood trailer to uh to you know really articulate what are these new things in the game. People yeah. still don't yeah, even know exactly. what pro mode how it truly they works. They don't even know it what exists. It's actually met. <laughs> yeah. What if the only method of reaching it. the players so. is like a big long blog post, you're just gonna get met with that one meme. It's like, yo, I'm not reading all that. Happy Feels, for you yeah. or or or, or right. sad, whatever, or whatever let, that whatever let, meme is. Let's start like where um from the beginning, I guess, you know, when when pro mode initially dropped, we voiced our concerns and we we you know we had a open conversation and maybe a little bit of a background conversation behind the scenes conversation, too. And they listened to us. They really did. And so that about is what? massive. No, and that we were, about like that that blog post. I think all of us were, you know, grinning ear to ear. All of us were we very that. grateful that like yeah. that. We got to get more explanation. So the reason there was there was out, outrage when when uh, pro mode first dropped is because you only could use three different guitars to, to play the mode. You could, you, if you had a Rock Band 4 Jaguar, yeah. if you had a Rock Band 4 Stratocaster, or if you had the brand new PDP Riftmaster, those are the only three guitars you could use in the mode uh, to play pro. Everybody else was locked out. Like if, if you had, like, uh, for example, an Xbox One Mad Cat's Legacy Adapter that you used in Rock Band 4 to use your like your 360 Les Paul or your GH5 guitar on Rock Band 4, I assume that would have worked because, as far as the game is aware, that's just it just works in Rock Band right. Four. Why why wouldn't it work in this game? But it didn't. Um, so people were pretty upset that their they their guitars that they had they thought would work would not work in the game. So we voiced uh, in in our uh, behind the scenes discussion um, that maybe it'd be a good idea if instead of just like checking for what instrument you have, what if you just open it wide up? You know, allowed keyboard support, allowed uh, binding of different buttons uh, to allow for promote, and that's kind of what they did. Like we yeah. see, we feel very heard with with this yeah. new update. Like this is almost exactly what we were all calling for. It even says it in the blog post. It's like one of the most requested things we've heard from you guys yeah. is wanting keyboard support for pro mode, uh, for pro lead and pro bass. And I guess yeah. by proxy, we you know, did in this the future when not, they're not ready we. to release it. Yeah, not, not we, we as everybody. Us. Everybody, 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 you too. You did yes. this. All your Anybody complaints you. spoke up Itch. because we because All, we told people no, good person, to speak good person. <laughs> <laughs> Not we a told bitch. people that we told people Opposite to speak of up. Bitch. You know, yeah, and like, people did your, speak up. Make, they make made their voice voices heard known. And, and, yeah, and we we were, everybody was heard. It wasn't just us, you know. So the thing though is, we need to hear more from Epic officially in ways that are not blog posts in a way that will get through and, and penetrate people's minds on this because there's a level of confusion that I could have never predicted. Um, because frankly, we're old heads here and we've all played Guitar Hero and Rock Band and we're kind of stuck in the fact that we've had this information in our brains for 15 years, right? We don't know what we don't, you know, like what people don't know anymore because we haven't been there in so long. Exactly. So, do, do you think Harmonix is at the same place though? It's possible. Do you think Harmonix is taking for granted that people are just know what they they're very, talking They about? very well might be. That's a that's a good point I hadn't thought about. Hey, if, like, you su if you support Rock Band Four for nine years, kind of. I if I were if I were them, I'd be like, oh, how do people not know? Well, think about the state that Rock Band Four yeah. came out in too, though. You know, guys, let like, me just say. Yeah, you know, and also it still came out with the, the guitar with the, it. The it did. It came so out. It came out with, yeah, a, Jason, with a band. It came, it, it, yeah, I got sorry. to the band. It sounded, rhetor <laughs> it sounded rhetorical, but like you know. <laughs> here's here's the thing. There's a very obvious disconnect when we see people in the community who are saying, "Hey, I'd love to play pro mode, but can I do it without strumming?" Okay. Yeah, that's the point of pro mode. That yes. is what pro mode is. <laughs> There's it a is disconnect. There's promo without not, strumming is what you've been doing. That's it's, it's not, not promo. Well, it's, it's just not regular. Well it's, the, like, it's the game. Yeah. You know, when it when it comes to stuff like this, right? Like the first thing that I think of in terms of like obviously like tutorials, right? So you have the NPC that stands out front, right? Where you yes. can like calibrate or whatever, you talk to them. Like I know that like when like a new season launches or whatever, like when like a new mini pass launches, like they'll have like like a video that you can watch and you know, most people skip them. If you're gonna do a tutorial why not? You don't have to make it interactive. Like, why not just put a video in there? 
make just make a video. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be like the old school, you know, guitar no. hero and rock band ones where you have to play part of the track or whatever. Just a video, just a one minute yeah, video it, explaining the, like, the, I think, the basics. I think I think one minute would cover arguably every bass. You know, yeah, and you, you see the you thing, can get through a lot also, in a minute. Also, the thing is that you know those little videos that uh, that pop up every season. You know, they don't have like a dialogue. They don't have like a dialogue. No, There's they're no, they're, they're all speaking. rendered. Like, and, yeah. it's not like oh. Here's the new vehicles this season. They have guns on them, and no, they just they they let well, actually they let their you know their what? footage tell you what's going on. Well, I'm realizing so that, that's now. kind of hard to articulate with like a rhythm game, especially like this, right? Because you know, right off the rip, you can't. I don't know. It, it's well, it's difficult. You just you just made me realize actually. Um, so like Epic doesn't plan on making their own hardware, right? Like. Like, like PD, PDP made the Rift Master for this for this game mode of Rock Band 4, but Fortnite, the official Fortnite accounts and Epic Games have never talked directly about the Rift Master. They never retweeted anything about it. So I'm realizing now that they they kind of can't make a tutorial because they're not exactly. It, it's hard. It's hard to explain. But like the Rift Master is not their hardware, you know. So why why would they make? How, how can they make a tutorial? on how to play this game with a guitar controller when they don't exactly have their own. They're not like, they're not, they don't own the Riffmaster, right? Yeah, they would be kind of like implicitly advertising for a different Yeah, company. that's what I'm realizing now. I think that that's the problem, is that... How and they can't exactly advertise, them? you can't exactly advertise their own, meaning And they, they can't show off old stuff, hardware like old either. They can't show off old hardware either. They can't. And yeah, now the problem really is, is that people are going to think that ProMode is intended for... You know what I mean? They're gonna exactly. Which, which is happening it over is not. True. It is yeah. not made for this. No. no. Many people are trying it, it on it this is, thing. It is it's like, it's so hard. It's so hard. Like, someone needs to say it something like, yo, promo, you can play it for this, but this is not what the... This is not how it's meant to be. This is this only is here for compatibility reasons. This is yeah. only yeah, here so you can bind buttons. This is not what. This is not it. But this is not the main controller. How much of promo have you played with this? Have you played much promo with this? I played one song. I played it on the Nintendo no. Switch. Capital punishment. <laughs> bad. Capital it's punishment. bad, but it's not. It's not the point. Like I noticed playing pro mode because the charts are different than regular pad mode. Pad mode charts are made for this. They have where your fingers are in mind. Correct. Pro mode is not. There are there are many times where where there's a green red chord. Green red is like left and up or left and right on the D pad. No, it's left and up. You're not doing it's left that. and up. But it's left, still, left up by, by default. You're not doing that. The the weird one is yellow and orange. Chords. Yellow orange. Ooh, yellow XB. orange. X and or yeah, sorry, square and circle. We're gonna do this kind of, but not press the what top. What are you gonna one. do? Strum like this, and, and have you fun strum with as well. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, no, this is, yeah this is strumming, strumming is on the, the the right bumpers, right and left bumpers. This is strumming. Uh -uh. This is whammy. This is overdrive. I hadn't even thought of how. How absurd this is now! I think until you okay. Said it. <laughs> I think it's absurd. what what the people are are what are trying to do is you use, use the OG setup, but then the D pad to strum, which is insane. But I, I've that's seen what I meant. That's what I thought. That no. That's what I thought was going to be a better thing to do because my my fingers started like reverting to 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 old mode Get where I would do I would do this you and are then just using this anyway. Yeah, you so know. this would probably feel better for hitting the notes and then maybe like having, I don't know, fucking left D-pad and X to be strum so I can use my thumbs to strum. That might be a better way to do it, but again, this is only here for key binding support. That's it. You're not think, you're not supposed to play them up this it, way. It feels pretty good. Like, I'm doing like different chord shapes and then strumming down and up with the D-pad. Like, that's the vibe. At least on yeah. PlayStation controller. On an Xbox controller. Oh, I have an Xbox controller right here. Let's see. Do like. I, dude, I could see this working. I'd like. I could see it working. That could a bit. work, but the default bindings are not it. The default bindings are absolutely not, not it. Now that I think no about way. it, like that's insane that they they well, thought that was like. It it begs the question. You know, and obviously the answer is obvious to this. Like, why are they making you strum on pro mode? Oh, because pad mode is supposed to be. You play with pad, but why do we have to strum on a, on, a, okay. on a game all controller? Right, all right. And and this is what this is also another thing that is probably going to be a bit controversial. Like I don't have a hot take or anything, but like I I feel for the people who started, um, you know, like the South American Brazilian community that only played Guitar Hero Two. Okay, and they we're talking specifically guitar. We're talking yeah. Guitar Hero Two for a specific reason because that's how controller mode would work if 
they had a no strumming pro mode. That's how it would work. Because people don't realize, or never realized, um, because I don't expect them to, that Guitar Hero 3 and Clone Hero controller mode, like gamepad mode, function so wildly differently than uh, the way that Harmonix has it in every single game. It's in every single game. It's even in, like, Rock Band 3, like, all the Rock Band games, they have the standard pad play mode. So, like... Guitar Hero 3 just functions differently. Like, you can actually use the hammer-ons. You can do trills. Say you have, like, a red-yellow trill, you can hold down red with L1 and then just tap yellow. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. you could do a red-yellow trill. If it was Guitar Hero 2, though, Harmonix, um, you know, the Harmonix Guitar Hero games, you would have to do that red-yellow trill. Yeah, you um, couldn't anchor. Individually tap like that. You cannot hold down the lower note and just do that. And so I see where, like, a disconnect would be because then... If they have a no strumming pro mode functioning the way that people remember, it will not work that way. Like if Through the Fire and Flames comes out and we have a no strumming pro mode, you will not be able to do it like this. No. You will not. Honestly, I don't think there should be a no strumming pro mode. I don't think there should either. No. There should not be because because that that would be so much more. We we have have pad mode already. We We have pad mode already. Go play a different chart. We've already ripped off the band-aid on confusion by adding colored notes to tap mode. Like, yeah, we haven't talked about up. that either. Yeah. So with colored notes from pro mode now being available for tap mode charts, I played a little bit yesterday on season launch. So we're recording this on Saturday. Season just launched. I gotta say, muscle memory kicked my ass because I saw the colored notes and they look like strums. So I went to strum on tap mode yeah. every time because you can now use your guitar controller for tap mode natively, yes, which is that's great, which is really good. I think that's really super good. Great. I yeah, love that. That's now I don't have, I don't have to swap that, that's like that's a You've been doing that the whole time. You would be Omega deal. cursed if we use the festival fake strumming mode in Sand Troller with the colors Dude, on. That shit. Charts. That shit was ass. That would <laughs> no, shut that the would, fuck that up, would bro. Break Dude, my and you know brain. what? Get out of here. You know what though, bro? That shit predicted the coyote timing issues. It predicted it did. that shit. It did. It kind of did though. It did. It really did. Oh my god! Yes. Oh yeah, we have that officially acknowledged. Yeah. We have that officially acknowledged we inside do. of the mm-hmm. uh, uh, of the blog. It's getting which, fixed. Kyle, Kyle which acknowledged it is it getting too. fixed. Which yeah, I'm Kyle hoping for yeah, whatever well. season four has in store for us, and everything is pointing to Metallica truly happening. Everything's pointing mm-hmm. to that with the Unforgiven leaking, the Rust Ooh. Lord, who looks like me, by the way, that has the Metallica <laughs> shirt. You know what I mean? Everything and is Metallica already be in the game now with Fuel. Yes. Yeah, and, and they're then, there. Yeah, and Fuel the Unforgiven, already being in the Unforgiven game. got leaked. All, no, yes. all signs are pointing to Metallica happening this season. We just don't. I don't know if it's going to be like a one-time event thing. If we're if we're referring to the the you know the leak, the leaked image, right? There was something for Metallica in the battle royale area and the festival area. So who mm. knows what the fuck's going to happen if it's going to come true, right? Yeah, that's the fun part. Is like wondering like. If Metallica is the next uh, is the next icon, as the leaked roadmap suggests, like how else are they going to be in the game outside of festival? Like because because like the roadmap I, made I, it seem very big, you know. Okay. If they're the so, icon, if they're the icon, Master of Puppets is going to be the thing. Oh, that immediately. Sells the festival pass. Immediately. That's, no, no, that's the thing that sells. It'll be the, the festival, festival pass. pass. It yeah, will yeah. be the festival mm-hmm. pass song. Yeah, it has to be. So. Yeah, for sure. So okay. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you have seen Metallica live before, but usually I'm when not. they do concerts, when they do concerts, they usually do a, set, a circular stage in the middle of a stadium and a big open venue, right? That's usually their setup. Um, and hey, the Nitrodrome, the new POI, is very much set up for like, hey, maybe there could be a stage in the middle of it or something like Ooh. that. Because is there, it is, is there a set screenshot up to be of this? Arena. Someone has to have a screenshot of this Nitrodrome, please. Yeah, I, I mean, I can. Grab I, I, you one know, I'll go look. I'll go look. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm just gonna go look. Yeah, you go do that. So that'd be cool if, if they like kind that'd of built so in sick, a stage dude. for yeah. for the next headliner to play in in a battle royale type of uh, like a special event. That'd be neat. That's, here's that'd the be a cool integration. Here's the outside the picture that they've been using. Ooh. But it looks like oh, a okay. giant. It looks like a giant arena. That looks yeah. awesome, man. They 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 kicked ass with this art. Yeah, I, I like this whole season's vibe yeah, and their, the, their the art style. The aesthetic of it and everything. They, yeah, they, the did, a, they yeah, did a killer they job. For. They really did. Very yeah, talented. it's... Uh, Very talented people at Epic Games. It's yeah, and the way they could just pump this shit out. Stadium. Yeah. 
Oh, well, there you go. And guess who plays large stadiums all the time? Metallica. Yep. Dude. And also like Lady Gaga and Billie Eilish in the weekend. See, and see, see Metallica icon, Live just sounds like, like, because I've listened to Metallica was, for most of my life, right? Like, it just, it, it does seem like a cool show, you know? There's a yeah, very I was gonna funny go this clip. Year. Yeah. There's a clip from one of their concerts. We should probably bring this up because it's going oh, yeah. viral around the internet yes. right now. Uh, and it feels very Fortnite-centric because, hey, Metallica just played a show last night in Act Munich. Act of God. <laughs> or I think it was. Or not Munich. It was Muchen. Or one of those. I don't remember where. It was somewhere Started in with Europe, an M. I believe. <laughs> it's an M city. Yeah. Um, M city, but, bitch. <laughs> M city. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yo, Zeus threw a freaking lightning bolt at them. Hit the stage while they were playing a show. This was sick Wild. As fuck. Amazing. That's crazy. And it was while they were playing Master of Puppets, too. Man. The intro. So fitting, like that, that's, how they're, that's how they're starting off the song. It's sick as fuck. It's, it fits so perfectly. Like they, they gotta get like a, They gotta go get like a Tesla coil just to have on their stage all the time so they can always have some like lightning going off. Oh, like that fucking Warriors of Rock venue? Yeah, or There's like Nikola Tesla. Just Tesla coils on the stage. <laughs> yeah, do that, do that, but in but I don't know how safe that time. shit is. There's no way. We got fire on stage. How how safe is fire? Yeah, fire will it, burn you. Dude, don't don't ask James okay. about that. There, yeah, I was gonna say that that happened. Yeah, that happened. That, that was something that actually happened, man. Yeah, like, and it was that, a big deal. It was a that was a problem. <laughs> it was honestly kind of amazing. He survived. Like they yeah, had, they, it, it is he, he basically able. stood. He basically stood in pyrotechnics. Yeah, he was like fully yeah. engulfed in flames. Yeah, like literally, like it was a like, miracle that he's like entire body burns from what I can remember. That that, that, that band has been through a lot, man. Documentary. That band's been through a lot of like tragedy and that stuff like that, you know, like yeah. with, with like Cliff Burton and everything. Like, amen. Fucked. Yeah, but Damn. yeah, Metallica. Metallica's a cool band. I think the fuel, honestly, I know a lot of people kind of were like, oh, like you know, Load is not a good album and stuff. Like, I think the fuel is a very good entry well, level. The, song. What is it? The blood and piss or the piss? Yeah. And- yeah, <laughs> nobody has to know about that. Uh, somebody you know, in, my, you know. in one of my comments was like, "Man, wait until the Fortnite kids figure out what what's on the album cover." I'm like, I, I, I responded, so, it out. Don't, "We don't, don't have to tell, tell them." them. Someone would have if I had a dime for every time Jizz was in Fortnite, I'd have two. But this is it's they said weird no how sex. We got there. They said no sex, and so far well, there's been. This sex. is off reload. This is off <laughs> reload. So I believe the album is just blood and piss. No cum. True. No common fuel. That's in the this load is, this album. Is, that's in the load. Yeah. Wait till we get a song whole... from Load. I, I, I mixed them up. It is from Reload. But what's hey, all on fuel, Load? Feels what a good song. In here? I like it. King I've nothing? always liked it. Until it was yeah, one of the no, only songs that, I've seen did in you know, GHM. Did you know that uh, Avril Lavigne did a cover of Fuel for the really? MTV Icon series, where really? they brought in a band, and all these other very popular bands were doing covers. For a band and MTV Icon actually had a Metallica episode where is that was, when they did the, is that the Snoop Dogg one? There's a Snoop Dogg sad but true sad but true. There's Avril Lavigne <laughs> Fuel. There's That's they get a, those in the there game. is a Limp Biscuit did this insane cover of Welcome Home. It's so good. And then Ooh, Korn, what? no 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 it's, it's so really good. good. I promise. Limp Biscuit does Welcome Home and he fucking nails it. Fred Durst fucking kills it, dude. And then um. Last, lastly, oh, Sum 41 did a medley of For Whom the Bell Tolls and Master of Puppets, I believe. And In then there was, there's one more. I think it was Corn that did one. And they did pretty good, too. It was really good. You should go it check it out like... if you haven't seen it. It's a fever dream. Alternate but, reality. Well, Welcome Home Sanitarium's Limp Biscuit is actually fire. It's Bro. really good. Okay, they, but they... if it's West Borland, I can understand, because dude was always ahead of his, like, yeah, Wes yeah, yeah. was ahead of his time. But he had to deal with Durst on vocals. Dude, they changed the fucking layout again on YouTube. Uh, I have a different layout again. Wait, what? How? Yeah. What? What's your? What? Like? I've been Mine's on the normal. same layout for months. I don't know what people are talking about, but I, I believe you. Mine's normal. No, no, no. Hold on. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this. I, I, I am not a fucking fan of this at all. This is horrible. This is terrible. Oh. Yeah, they have. They're doubled up on the side. Related rock music for you? No, get the fuck out of here. Give me one single thing, and it's just all my recommended. Don't give me all these different fucking categories. Just give me all the shit. Yeah, like why? No, I don't like that. It's harder to scroll. I mean, theoretically, you that can looks, see that more on the like screen. That looks like a fucking news website. That sucks. Yeah, it's terrible. Hmm. I don't know why. Yeah, but yeah, like that. But yeah man, this, this that whole MTV icon thing is really funny. I used to watch it a lot because I was like, damn. They got all these bands, and they got, they got all these bands covering uh, Metallica right in front of them. So, 
Uh, I, I don't know what other MTV icons there were, but this was the most prolific one in my eyes. But they definitely did some more of them. I don't and know about any of them. I don't know. All I can remember was there was at one point MTV did a concert series where yep. they actually were like, hey, come in and, and we're going to film this in front of a studio audience and we're going to do this content. It was all edited for TV. And I went to one because it was filmed in Orlando and I lived there at the time. It was at the Universal Studios Hard Rock Live. And I went to Godsmack. I mm. swear to God, they played three songs with like 10 minute breaks in the middle of each one. And that was it. Wow. Oh, oh, dude, that's, that's hype, strong. bro. That's one of the high, worst bro. shows so I've hype. ever been to. It you was know, brutal. Um, I looked it up. The, the first the first icon was uh, Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson was the first icon. They had a uh, they they had honestly not 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 super interesting stuff here. It's like you're just kind of run of the mill. Like, hey, these are the performances. the The artist that they chose made a lot of sense for Janet Jackson, but then they did Aerosmith uh, for in 2002, and they got Papa Roach doing Sweet Emotion. Do I want to hear that? <laughs> I don't. I don't know about I that. I don't. One, they got Shakira doing "Dude Looks Like a Lady." Shakira that might be cool. Shakira. With they her got little, Nelly, with her voice Ja Rule, or... DJ Clue, and Sum Forty One doing "Walk This Way." What the fuck? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, but no, I, I, I think it's just a this is just a silly thing to bring that, up. That is... I was like, man, <laughs> that's interesting though. I, I like it when artists do stuff like that. You know, Metallica did an entire album of this, right? It, about the Black Album. It was just a whole bunch of different artists like covering Black Album songs, like they did? a lot. Like this album has like sixty songs, like plus. There's a lot. Really, I remember so, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's yeah. Sick. Uh, was that Blacklist? It, yeah, I think it's called the Blacklist. Yeah, the Metallica Blacklist. It's the you know it's a it, here. There's a Wikipedia with the track listing. There's a shit ton of songs on here. The Unforgiven by Cage the Elephant. What the fuck? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, dude, that uh, might be a, a sick cover. So many people, actually. KJ Elephant, fucking Biffy Clyro did "Holier Than Thou." Jay oh my god, Phoebe Bridgers wrong. did "Nothing Else Matters." I'm so Phoebe, down uh, with Phoebe this Phoebe Bridgers, shit. "Nothing Else Matters," man. I mean, come on, and a Miley what Cyrus. What the fuck? That's Nothing amazing. Weezer did Rodrigo and Gabriela. I've no never way. listened to this, but the first thing that jumps out on my first look at this is Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish doing Nothing Else Matters. <laughs> dude, dude, that would go hell hard, yeah. actually. Dude, Nothing hell Else yeah. Matters, Miley Cyrus featuring Watt, Elton John, Yo-Yo Ma, Robert Trujillo, and Chad Smith. Excuse me now? What'd you say there? <laughs> Trujillo? Uh, yeah, Trujillo? Is that how you pronounce it? This is Evan seen all over again. God damn it. Trujillo. <laughs> Bro. Bro I read Spanish. how I read. Trujillo. Oh, wow. oh, wherever I may roam Chessman. by Jay Balvin. Jay Balvin did wherever I may roam? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is crazy. A lot yeah, of the dude, only song I've really this. ever heard from this album was the Miley Cyrus one, because that was like that was like the popular one of when this album dropped. It came out in like yeah. 2021, September Corey 2021. Taylor! I didn't Corey know about Taylor, this, man. This is crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a shit ton of people in here. Weezer did Enter Sandman, bro. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey, now, now, what's the crossover right? between these artists? Oh, wow. St. Vincent and, uh, did Sad But True. Royal Blood did Sad But True. Also, the crossover of these artists that did covers of Metallica and then, like, in Fortnite Festival. You know, the, it's, <laughs> there's so many of these bands in this I'd game. I'd love to see cover songs eventually make it in game. That'd be fun. I mean, we don't necessarily have to have well, all the okay. originals. Uh, that's happened in Rock Band. That has happened yeah. many times in Rock Band, you know, with Africa by Weezer. Sure. Take On Having Me a had a real, real Big Fish cover. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah Take On Me by Real Big Fish would be incredible. Yeah. Uh, cool. yeah. I, like the, I uh, like that. I like that version oh my of the song, God. Save, actually. Save Ferris with uh, Come On Eileen. That's Come another on one. Ska, it's a ska oh, version sweet. of the song. It's hard as fuck, actually. It's weird as fuck on guitar, but it is a fun song. The one I think of the most is from Guitar Hero, and that was Wonderwall by who the fuck was his name? I don't even know. It wasn't Oasis. It was just like an acoustic cover. It was, was like really Ryan boring. something. But I remember Adams? that dropping was it Ryan because Ryan Adams. Dude, uh, dude, on. the stu. Why? Who? Who in their right mind thought it was a good idea for a band game to Ryan get Adams. an acoustic to get an acoustic DLC pack for a band game? 
Yeah, this never saw kinda, this never saw blows. tried their best to cook with DLC after Death Magnetic, but like they really couldn't do it. No, uh, couldn't do World it. Tour and Beyond was kind of a kind of just. Uh, uh, Harmonic's already messy. swooped just in, man. Yeah. I think like I, mean, look, I think them getting them getting the rights to Metallica was like that and, and, and like Rolling one. Stones and like Rolling Stones one and Black Sabbath. Well, that was their flexes for licensing. And personally, yeah. in my opinion. Um, but like there's harmonic. not a single person here who would say that Guitar Hero had better licensing than Rock Band, it's right? Just, no, rock, it's rock just Band factual. killed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, Guitar Hero I mean, three DLC. That's a different story. That the Guitar Hero three DLC was full of that. Right. was great. Yeah, but after that, it was all downhill. World Tour and Beyond when, when they when they were directly competing with Rock Band, Rock Band blew them out of the fucking park. Oh, they in terms of DLC them. offerings. And there's st- yeah. and you know Harmonix is still cooking with the licensing. We exactly. got Tupac yes. more, more now than ever. Might I say? Yeah, yeah, like I, I don't know how they do it. I don't know who their lawyer is. I don't know who their licensing guy is. But hey, ha- fucking hats off. I don't know how you're doing it. I don't know how you're doing it, and I, I don't want to be in your about position because I can Fort, only imagine. Fortnite, Fortnite's the biggest game in the world. You know, like yeah, it, right, it's, it's very, it's very say, attractive. It's very, very attractive. And, and and like Epic really stands by their values and stuff too. They do. It's like they know what they want in the game, and they will not bend over to have any ex exceptions made for it and it's, i it's always bring this up like, i always bring this up when it comes to licensing because it's just it it was so eye opening when they when uh um i think this there was like a whole tell all interview with the former uh former head of creativity for uh for Fortnite um mustard i believe mustard yeah and he was talking about how the whole conversation between Fortnite and Nintendo with Samus you know, it's like, oh, Nintendo truly wanted it only on Nintendo systems. And then Epic was like, no, we, we can't do that. And so the deal was called off then. Yeah. But, you know, who who are the estates that are working with, like, the audio licensing department for Festival, too? Because I guess that's a whole different that's a whole different type of thing, too. And the whole music industry has just been in shambles all year and last year, too, just because of people not fucking getting paid. And... Yeah. It's just, it's such a weird path to navigate because it's like, how are they getting some of these songs? Yeah, some I mean, mu- music they, is tough. Music, music is, is tough. very tough. I mean, Chris Vance told us that, you know. It's only getting harder, it feels like. Yeah, and I mean, for, for every given song, there are dozens of people that worked on it, and there's sometimes there's a couple of different rights holders you have to clear. And sometimes you have to clear yeah. with the band. Sometimes you have to only clear with the label. I mean, it, it's, it's all how these contracts are written, and they're not all the same. They're, they're all individualized. So, like, mm-hmm. the, the, the fact that they're able to get this many high-profile artists, this many high-profile songs from those artists, at the scale of which they're doing it, like, eight songs a week, the past couple weeks have been, have been smaller, but regardless, like, th- that is very, very, very insane to me in the year 2024. Yeah. Back when Rock Band was in its heyday and Guitar Hero was in its heyday, it was, like, the biggest games in the world, that's more understandable. But this is, like, a revival of the genre again. So this is, like... Proving that there is a desire for this type of game, proving that there is a desire for artists to work with with this type of game, I think that uh, I think that's pretty big. That, that bodes well for the future. Well, look who Amen. ended up in it. Look, look at the band that ended up in it. The so, Kai, stop. We're not doing Fortnite. We're not doing Fortnite <laughs> Guitar Hero. By we're the not, way, I mean, three months later, hey, we're up. in the game, guys. Yeah. Four months later. Yeah, there I is just think. Fold. That right there, we, I mean, we touched on it a little bit before, but I think that shows the power of their licensing team and how much they can convince because, hey, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the record label that made this decision. Adventure Sevenfold's already said they have full control, right? Which means that somebody convinced them, right? If we, if we have to take them at face value, if they didn't give the ability to choose to somebody else, that means they said yes. So... And that means somebody convinced them. And M Shadows was openly hostile towards it. So like the, the convincing yes. was like a complete 180. So that it, it wasn't yeah. just like, like oh, this Fortnite Festival thing, that's eh, it's whatever. It was like, no, we don't want to be in this game. Guitar Hero and died for a reason. Yeah. Yep. They went out of biz well, for this know, reason. <laughs> I, I think I think B-I-Z. it's cool that like uh Epic is very is like very clearly good at being able to explain their their vision to collaborators and like clearly with the amount them, of collaborators like, they have. I, I, I think that the reason why people agree to collaborate with them so much is because they must be very transparent about like 
you know, this is how it's going to work. You're going to be on all these platforms. These are going to be like, you're going to have these outfits and like, you know, they're going to be able to perform all these different songs. Like, because going back to like the whole issue with like, you know, Kurt Cobain, right. And like GH5 and stuff like they're able to explain to these collaborators, like, you know, oh, they can't, they can't sing that song. And they're like, we can't do that. They have to, they have to be able to sing whatever song that the player wants to use them in, you know, or the deals off, you know, like they're able to communicate yeah. that and make it very, very clear. And they still say, yes, people are like, okay, fine. Like sign, sign. The thing, so you know? I feel like there's the a built-in credibility though, though. Yeah. If, if they're talking to artists like this and they're being that transparent and they're explaining their vision, can they do that with the community? Oh yeah, that's true. Hey, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's tougher because uh, when they're talking because with we're like, professionals, with people, yeah, we're 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 a bunch of big dumb idiots. I mean, we got to talk to ten year olds that play this game and explain how things yeah. work. So that, oh that, that, no, that, on, that's a whole that's a whole phone. different thing. Uh, yeah, because you can play pro device. mode on your mobile on your mobile device now. I no, you can't. I, you can't. I tried. You can't. Shit. You can't. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I tried you X Cloud. Pad. I don't have an Android phone, so I can't try that. I on Xcloud, you absolutely cannot play promo. I can try on. I, need, just, I need to update. Did it my have Android. the options at least? No. No. Okay. okay. I, th there. I thought the blog post said that for for all uh, platforms. Yeah, blog post said all platforms. They might have all just platforms. updated it. I don't know. Well, you should you should try Android. I gotta I mean, update my app right I don't know, now. Does Switch count as mobile because February. it is technically mobile? Switch is de technically mobile. Well, I don't think they, I don't think they explicitly there. said mobile device. They just said all. Uh, all platforms or whatever. So I assumed that to mean Android, but I don't know. I, I can't speak on that. Nobody's gonna play that shit on there. Because it would be funny you, to you like plug a, a to it. plug a keyboard into your phone. Right? Yeah, that'd be the yeah. way to do it. You have to plug a keyboard in for for keyboard bindings. Which I kind of I think we kind of glazed over this. You can use uh like if you have a sand troller guitar, you can bind it as a keyboard and it'll work on every console now. True. Like natively. So Dude, that's cool. Yeah, like it it felt like magic just plugging in my Arduino controller into a like a PlayStation or my Xbox. I was playing on Xbox last night, uh, just cleaning up some of the FCs I didn't get. Uh, and I was just like, man, we're really here. This is crazy. Yeah. And it you just guys works. You've seen the this amount of updates that, that like Sanjay's been pushing out like like yesterday, like like overnight because he's in New Zealand. So like overnight is like morning and the midday for him. Like he pushed out like an update and then like 10 minutes later, there was a new update. And then like 15 minutes later, there's a new update because um a lot of people updated and they were they were having issues initially with like their with like the whammy spinning thing and stuff like that in game and um and so he like because people were confused yet again confused on how they were supposed to bind it they thought that they were still supposed to use the emulation mode instead of just doing x input and calling it a day you know so yeah we're we're all there, kind of just a figuring of shit out as we go you know yes. and on this part this is all on us Figuring out how, how Arduino shit works. Actually, hold on. Can I start a petition real quick? I, I've been using Arduino as, like, the catch-all term for any mod guitar. We gotta start calling these bitches sand troller guitars. That's what I'm gonna start yeah. calling them. A, a sand troller guitar. That's because a catch-all term. Is. I that's mean, what this it is. is the... that's, 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 that's what's running now. Guitar configurator's out, and it's defunct. It's all sand troller now. So, yeah. I mean... But Give I guess that also... Sand troller some love. But it yep. also kind of, it would almost imply that an older Arduino, like from three years ago, is not a sand device because it's not running. Well, that. that's but the difficulty whatever. because, like, we switched to Picos and people are still calling them Arduino because, like, I guess it's because just that's more just catchy the, in a way. That's it the umbrella on, term. You know? Yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's going to be challenging. I'm not going to say hard. It's going to be challenging to change the language there, but we can certainly try. I'm down. Uh, it's I like, would, if, I would if vote you're for a sand troller. something, right? Google yeah, it. Well, you know, it. Yeah, well, I mean, yo, it becomes, San, Sanjay's I mean, got to get this all the love here, man. Sanjay's got to get all the love. I mean, like, it deserves I it. think people, I think people really heavily and like, I think like custom, custom guitar is like a, is a term that's been coined, you know? Yes. It, yeah, it's, custom guitar could just be used if you have a custom people guitar. People say retro cool mod guitar. kit. Yeah. You know, like, that's another thing, RCM. Too. Yep, RCM. RCM. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it's, what was I going to say? Oh, I tried doing a whole bunch of different things to get, like, regular 360 or PS3 guitars to work. Doesn't work, unfortunately. Yeah. Like I said before, legacy adapter to connect guitars to it, to your Xbox One or S, doesn't, or X, Series S or X, I really, I really hope that they fix that, because, man, that's the gateway was, for a lot of people. That's how they played Rocket is, 4. Like, it, you know, har like, Harmonix knows the thing exists. Like, it's not like they forgot, you know? Yeah, so uh, here's the you thing. Of the Emma tweet showing the bites. Yeah. Brangus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get, I'll get that. Uh, but something, something like kind of struck me. I was, I was testing out the PS3 guitars on my PS5 uh, to see if that would work, and um, 
to, to my surprise, like it didn't work on the menu even. Like I, I connected a PS3 guitar to my PS5. I, I couldn't navigate the menu. Like I, I thought for sure I'd be able to navigate the menu. Like the guitar synced and everything. It was fine. But I, then I used my regular controller to navigate to Rock Band 4. It works in Rock Band 4. So I think Rock Band 4, the game itself, is doing some sort of like controller handling to make it work because that thing, that thing just it, the PS5 did not recognize it in any way. Like it's it, rock on the band PS5, yeah, rock, rock Band Four is what is recognizing everything. Yeah, okay, for sure. that makes sense because like navigating the menus on the PS5, there's an option where you can see like all connected devices. Like you can see your Dual Sense, you can see a keyboard if you have it plugged in. Um, typically, if you had like a different guitar plugged in, you'd be able to see that. It like didn't even see that there was a guitar there. Like it, as far as the PS5 was like menu was concerned there was nothing else plugged in or on them other than my dual sense but rock band 4 could still see it which i thought was interesting so then i tried it in festival and unsurprisingly it didn't show up it didn't work i feel this like is, this, this is for is... ps3 guitars right yeah, yeah i was talking about ps3 and my ps5 i just oh. want to throw in there that i have enormous respect for the people who are working on this game right now because i cannot imagine the stress of trying to make so many different styles controllers pop up and work the right way with every single platform they have to make Fortnite work on. That sounds like a logistic nightmare. A lot it is an impossibility. Wow. That, that would be frustrating every day, I feel. Yep. So try to, like, uh, just try to, like imagine they're like they're like Trello, right? With like all the to do's, oh like God. the bugs and stuff like that thing's probably Slack. long. Yeah, yeah, like all the Slack like, yeah, like they, they, they're all the, what, what's the term like like all the they're all in a Slack hole, right? Like. There's just so much happening in Slack. <laughs> I can't even imagine. So that's why I just yeah. want to say, as frustrating as it is for folks in the community who maybe might not understand how certain notes work or wish there's more clarification, just giving a small bit of grace as they're trying to make this work in a live service game that has a lot of different ways for people to play it. So it, there's a lot. And yeah, it's it's moving in the right direction, I feel like, right? We're getting these yeah. options. Sure, there's bugs to be worked out. There's clarifications to make. But the bottom line is that we have a new game and there's more options. They're listening to us and they're working towards it being better. And I love that. Got yep. official and, content, uh, man. I think, yeah, our official content is great. I think Harmonix is, uh, is getting really, um, getting a lot of good experience with a, a more high profile live service game because the same thing happened with Rock Band 4, let's not forget. Rock Band 4 launched in a pretty poor state, and over the next year or two, they really improved it to the point where today it's a pretty, problem. It's a solid game. Yeah, similar instrument same problems that they had to solve. Yeah, like, but they did solve it uh, before did. launch. But th again, that was nine years ago. I went ago. through was, three of those things, though. They barely worked, man. Time. <laughs> Maybe I'm the outlier, but I only went through one. I, I have one. It's the My first micro one I bought USB in 2015. ports broke off the first two, and then the, and then the third one, nothing would sync to it. I, I just got bad luck, mm. man. Really apparently because those those bitches are 300 bucks on ebay right now so yep and i threw back them in 2015 out. when i bought it, it was 20 yeah dumbass you could have <laughs> you could have sold a broken one for 200 bucks i'm not joking either oh yeah i believe it i mean you know what the irony is that i like now i could probably fix it like if i still had them yeah yeah i nowadays, could just solder on a new micro usb port yeah yeah that's all it is it's just yeah that's all it USB is port. As, as long as it yeah. didn't do like a pretty hard rip off the board and you take off well that's the problem with micro usb that's the that, that was a big problem with pro micros in, in uh in guitars actually is that the the these these chinese micro usb clones like the micro usb could pry off pry off like really really easily it's not a good connection system yeah you know bad. the thing that you kind of just haphazardly just uh yeah, plug exactly. in, plug in thing, yeah. and then you just oh, push it and too like, hard Whoop. off the board. Because uh -oh. like, not fun. I don't know how many of you guys out there tinker with electronics, but when you're like, when you have a, something taken apart where like the shell is off of a thing with a USB port, like it feels really fragile. Like if you're plugging yeah. something into a USB port on just a bare PCB, it's like, well, I gotta be very gentle and, and carefully plug it in there so I don't knock it off. But when the case is on, it's just like, ah, fuck it. Plug but USB C's go in, uh, shove it in, shove it in. But it's the exact list. same thing. Yeah, dude, like the, the roll limitless. thing feels. I have the roll limitless mini. Fragile. It's literally just the bare chip, dude. And I'm just yeah. like, oh my god. It feels like fragile. The, the Pico is just right there, and I'm just like, this is so funny. But like, it's a very powerful. The Pico device. has a decent micro USB port. It's not. It's not like amazing, but it's better than what you found on Pro Micros. But not USB C is goaded. I love USB C. USB C it's is the, best. the standard for a reason. Yes. I'm very glad that we're all moving towards USB C. Glad it standard. exists. Even Apple. Yeah. Yeah. Even Apple. My iPad has USB C. It's great. And Apple got bullied. Love it. They got big God. time bullied. Shout out to the EU. Good, good. <laughs> Appreciate you. you. Man, love who doesn't EU. love Europe? Thank you. Peru. Appreciate that. Never been. Have you guys been to Europe ever? I've never Once. traveled internationally. but not the EU. 
I've been. Yeah, you went for a wedding, so. correct, JP? That was yeah, for. I've, I, yeah, I'm going there for a wedding again this year. Ironically enough, but oh, that was the first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time I oh, went wow. there was for, was for Fire Exit Man's wedding, and then I just went back again next year oh. because I thought it was cool. And then I'm going yeah. to uh, Sausage Mod's wedding this year in uh, in August. I haven't even booked it yet. Bro's no. a traveler out here. Bro just got back from Egypt. Talking about two more trips he's going on later this I, year. Th- I this did. summer. And also, the podcast should know we lied. I was home when they recorded. However, hey, hey, sh- 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 be quiet. <laughs> however, I had a stomach bug, so I was Pharaoh, like, that, that, I, that was the Pharaoh's curse for her. That was the Pharaoh's curse. So I was like, yeah, just lie and say I'm not home. So I apologize. <laughs> It was still funny having the picture. Yeah, did you ever? Did you watch the podcast? No, all? I got. I gotta watch it, but I saw Janex clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jane yeah, yeah you really, you're funny. like, oh, what do you think of that one, JP? <laughs> They're looking silence. pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was hot out. Okay, it was like over 100 Fahrenheit in Egypt, but it's like, did you say it's like, like it's, you like it's ate like dry so heat. much? Dude, they eat a lot over there, and so um, they don't eat dinner until sundown. Like I like I still have family there, right? Because my mom it's just my mom like was me for there. real. Yeah, like I I eat dinner at like five p.m. these days. You know, like I don't like to eat yeah. that late because I go. That's to a bed that's at, like, a reasonable time, like five five p.m. six p.m. That's kind of like regular normal adults yes. that work nine to five type of yeah. Yeah. dinner but time. But I get I I get this stomach bug, and we went for like a family wedding, but we like vacation because the wedding was towards the end. But I got I got the stomach bug like the day before the wedding. And then we went to the wedding, or no, the day yeah. of the wedding, and then we went to the wedding, and I was I, I was miserable. Like, I was not having a good time. And, dude, mm. they, all day, like, we get there, there's no food. They danced for, like, they danced until the sun went down. And then the food was served. And I was like, wow, this sucks. Culture like, shock. if I was feeling yeah. well, maybe it would have been fine, but I also don't dance. What like, time did sun go down over there? Is it, is it like, a similar time to, to yeah, here, like, yeah, it's eight, a- nine? It's it's pretty similar. The time difference over there was seven hours. The jet lag was pretty severe going there and then coming back. Um, the flight there was like like ten hours, but then the flight home was eleven and a half because you're going against the globe. Um, was not fun coming home with the stomach bug on a that long of a flight. It was not fun. Yeah, no, that sounds terrible. That sounds it was like the, it was a, in the a middle nightmare. of night. Yeah, middle of the night had to stay up and everything. The whole nine yards, like, but I did it. It was a nice big plane. Like like this is the biggest plane I've ever seen. This thing was huge. Um. Mm. And one of the nice things about that is that, like, I hate the feeling of takeoff. Like, I don't know if you guys can relate with flights and stuff, but I hate the feeling of takeoff because when they adjust a wingspan, and like, I've familiarized myself much more with how planes work to get over that anxiety, and it's actually helped a lot. Like, if people have flight mm-hmm. anxiety, I actually highly suggest researching how planes work. So mm-hmm. you know when you feel something in your body that the plane is doing, you know why, right? And you're not like, oh my god, what is happening? But they adjust. I the think that's good advice for everything, actually. Yeah, like, just research. Just everything it. in life. If you're if you're anxious about something, or if you feel unfamiliar with the process and that scares you, familiarize yourself with the process. Exactly. And and so when when they adjust the wingspan, because you know, like when you see a plane going up from like ground level, right? Like like it looks like it's like you know nose upwards, right? And so what they do is that as they're ascending, I guess they they kind of adjust the wingspan so they can straighten out a little bit and still ascend without like facing straight up. Um, and that's what that, that kind of sinking feeling is because it's the plane kind of adjusting itself, you know, in the mm. air. And you're, and you're also um, traveling at like a hundred something miles an hour. Yeah. It's on, very on the fast. Ground still. Yeah. We, we did hit really bad turbulence and I don't know if, did you guys see that story about the, the, the Korea flight where they had such bad turbulence oh, that. Yeah. It's somebody, it like somebody a died. war zone in there. Somebody, somebody died. Got killed because yeah. of turbulence. Yeah. Because, because they went, they went boop, <laughs> right. Yeah. Into the knocked ceiling. their fucking head. Dude, That's same model, absurd. Same, same model plane that I was on. I was like, I'm glad I'm home. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you get that feeling every time you get off a plane? It's like, wow. I was just like in the air, and now I'm back on the ground. I'm you know safe. what was surreal is like I I was put. No, I was I was getting home last night. I was out, and like there was a plane taking off, and like I was watching it, and I was just like, this is fucked up, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> what a marvel this is, yeah, man. Humans like, are really cool creatures. We we did like, that. Because it doesn't feel the same when you're in a plane to me. Like, no, I, it, sure. it's, it's, it's not like, like, and then being in the air and everything and being like, oh yeah, I'm up here. <laughs> like, yeah. You have to like remind yourself, oh, I'm actually like five miles in the sky right now. Uh, otherwise I would just know I'm on a bus. Oh, there's actually like endless ocean below me. Cool. Yeah, so like I, if, if for whatever reason this plane goes down, I'm, I'm like guaranteed dead. Eh, whatever. I'm glad yeah. that I've gotten 
less anxious about flights because that that was I'm sure I'm sure people can relate. Like that was like a big issue for me. And I had to get over to fear as I I had to get over to fear as I started traveling more. You know, like like traveling is like like I I'm blessed, right? Like I I'm so grateful to be able to travel and stuff. I always wanted to. But you have to the the plane is a part of the traveling, going to the airport. Like Yeah, that is a requirement. Unless you want to take a fucking boat across the the pond. Yeah. The airport fucking sucks, man. Like you get there if you're flying internationally, you get there early for customs and everything. And, you know, like you have to they have to check your passport and stuff, and it's like you're sitting next to really like loud like I was sitting next to a guy at the airport who had his phone a full blast on the speakers. Oh, you piece of shit. Yeah. Like Get earbuds. Like, phones Asshole. shouldn't have speakers anymore. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Ban the speakers on your phones. <laughs> Can I bring this back around to something for, we were talking about earlier and yeah, yeah. maybe use this as a way to bring it all together? Yo, okay, so it's been a very long time since I've had the opportunity to do anything like that. And I'm very jealous of you getting to travel to Egypt. That's incredible, yeah, man. That's it was cool. Fucking incredible. It was cool. <laughs> but the only times that I've been able to ever travel internationally were because of professional gaming right yes. from playing these games competitively or from working in the game industry when i you know would travel for ubisoft right for um tournaments and and to help run events and such and legitimately i don't know man i just have this hope in my heart that if battle mode takes off the way that i hope it does whatever it ends up being that maybe just maybe other people can have those same experiences from competitive rhythm gaming being able to maybe travel and see new things and experience life in a different way just because of appreciating music in a video game. And I think that that's a really awesome end goal considering, hey, it's happened before. It could happen again and maybe even at an even grander scale. So maybe, just maybe, I love the possibility even existing. It feels nice. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, they can even like magic. make it as part of like the the uh, the FNCS, like the Fortnite Championships. They could, they could have like a side event for a different part of Fortnite, not, not just Battle Royale. They could be fucking Rocket Racing uh, tournaments as well, for that yeah. matter. I don't care. Go for it. It'd be sick. Please. It would be really nice. Yeah. You know, it would be really really cool if that happens because there's a lot of really passionate uh, rhythm game guitar hero like players. You know, um, who yeah. they want to show off their stuff. You know, and absolutely. They, yeah. You know? I, I like showing off my stuff. Yeah. You, yeah, you guys do. You guys do that all the time. I'm just, I'm just a dirty casual, and filthy casual, you know. <laughs> yeah, gross. We look down upon you. Yeah, exactly. Down there on the leaderboards, not it's, even close to number one. It's disgusting. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm terrible. Nasty. Sorry. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I was gonna say something. Oh, about showing off my stuff. I got a new thing. I see that. There. That is that is a Guitar Hero World Tour box for PS2. Why do Why do I have this? It was twenty nine ninety nine on eBay dot com. That's a good price. Oh, God. that's robbery. That's yeah, robbery. no dongle, no dongle with it. It was just a guitar. That's still loses robbery. A just dongle for no reason. You yeah, it's a it's, it's 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 in it's in really good. Uh, I don't I don't I don't need to. I don't want to. I think it's cool. The guitar like looks brand spanking new, hardly used. Like the game is looking brand new, like no scratches on the disc, and the box is in like pristine condition. Someone uh, just jacked the dongle out of the thing. Probably they probably did. You know you know how those those dongles work is it's like. Some of them need the actual guitar that it came with for it to work. So, yes. like, someone could have snatched it, and it probably didn't work. Nope. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean? the, the dongle for the World Tour PS2 guitar especially looks, on the outside, exactly like the dongle for the Kramer Striker. Yeah, they did a really but bad job sure, with that shit, man. They're they pretty, pretty really sure they're not compatible. That, pretty sure they don't work interchangeably. So you have to have, like, the you have to look at the label. To yes. see if it's for a Kramer or if it's they, for the World Tour guitar. They use the same shell. Like it, it was a really bad yeah. idea. And apparently, according according to Sanjay, actually, with uh, like people who kept like the wireless connectivity or some shit, like the dong, like the dongle or something. Like you can do something similar to that. Like he he was he was telling me like like dude, the Kramer pulls so fucking weird. Like he was like, if you try to pull it a one millisecond, it bugs out. Like with the dongle, bugs the fuck out. Crazy. Man, the, the PlayStation wireless technology being dog shit, whoever could have seen this yeah, coming? Right. Definitely Never not happens. me. Seriously, but guys, if you're using a PS3, PS3 wireless guitar... is working so good, Jake. How could you say fine. this about no, my guitar? No, it's, it's just not. I promise you it's not. Yes, it that's is. What I, I'm dude, sorry that's to what say I tell it. people. I'm, I'm going to be rude here. You're not good enough to tell. Yes. I'm not even oh. joking. Oh, you are not Jake. skilled enough at the game to, to understand oh, how Jake, bad that guitar chest. is. 
I've had the oh, same so before. Sorry. Take it up with me in my oh. email at wisemoose at outlook.com. Do you, if you feel like you've been personally insulted by me saying you're not good enough to tell your guitar is bad, let me know. Tell me all about it. I'll definitely not just delete the email. Yeah, I, I, I got a GH5 PS3 guitar when I was like 15. Um, it was that really one's okay. cheap. And I brought it home. I played it. It felt like it was playing itself. It felt like it, 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 like it, it, it was delaying my inputs by like a second at some point. So <laughs> I was trying to play the God of War uh, track because I had yeah. claimed it on my account, and I was like, "Oh, I can't wait to play this one day." I forgot about that. And then, and then I did. I finally did with a PS3 controller, and I was like, "This sucks." <laughs> it, yeah, this the is latency terrible. is very noticeable on any PS3 guitar, but the, really the Guitar bad. 5 guitar is probably the best that you can get for that console. Yeah, and wirelessly. even then, it still wasn't the best. Kind of no, crazy how bad they fumbled the bag on that, man. Like, uh, I, you I, can I, blame yeah, Sony. Big time. Yeah, it's not, red, it's not Red Octane's shit. fault. They did I what they like, could. I feel like it was all Sony, bro, because like, the, the, those DualShock 3s were also not great. No, they weren't. PS3 kind of, kind of sucked. Had no games, well, but however, no, it still bro, it, had, it, had, it had that dragon game. It had that dragon game layer. Yeah. The fuck is layer? Ooh, that's a throwback. It used the, it used the six axis and it, the six it, axis. It, yes, it, dude. To drive a dragon, and it didn't work. Don't care. I'm not surprised that gyro <laughs> controls didn't work well in a game. Wow. All right. I'm well, so they were, surprised. They were trying to copy the Wii, bro. Come on. There's PlayStation the answer to uh, PlayStation. There's the answer bro. to GamePad right there for for Fortnite Festival. Let's just get Six it strumming, axis. strumming. Just do <laughs> this. Oh gyro. my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, no, wait, no, wait, wait, I wait, want to die right in right real now. life. You're no, clicking, no, you're not. <laughs> DualSense has gyro support on PS5 for Fortnite. Dude. Bro, there we go. And on PC. Strumming, so just, I'm, dude. If you just if you just like play like this, like the fucking dub Yo, can you imagine the over strumming? Oh my but, god, yeah. How, uh, how, wh where does it end with the yeah, strum? Like, is, like, this, like, is this two strums? Is this one? What, what motion? Like, Do you have do you, to do you like, a, a, a short like, throw? A long throw? You rake you strumming? Like, do double strokes with it? Like, fast <laughs> strumming? <laughs> Doing like a did it? Did Guys, it, why did doesn't it, my dual like, sense like rake? <laughs> I can't rake it, and then you actually like have to Whoa, like. Jason. Oh, Jason. Whoa, what if you actually <laughs> like running across a rake so you get like a little as it's like going down a rung of like a Yeah, you're like you know oh, I mean? so you're abusing gravity? Actually, raking yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little stops yeah, yeah, along we, we the path. Gra we call it gravity abuse. That's the new, uh, <laughs> the new strat. Gravity tech. Yo, worst rhythm game ever just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody make that in Unity right now. You know, like I'm Don't surprised that. that like that's not a, that's not something that you know the Beat Saber community hasn't come up with. You know what I mean? Like like squiggles or some shit. But like, like the, the you know the. The way that like the hit windows for those boxes though, it's, yeah. they're so oh. they're wide for a reason, you know. That it's like a collision based engine for Feel. good reason because that's what it is. But you have to move. There's no, delay. You... There's delay in that movement, you know. Like, there physically. is. There is. Yeah. I never. I never got that good at Beat Saber, you know. Like I, I remember, yeah, like I when we were playing online. To, like, yeah, to like understand like what most mid level stuff is is like played like, but. You know that that's all it is, right? It's two lanes, and then it's just how you chart it out. But it is a yeah. fun game. It's very. It is fun. very fun. And I'm glad, and synth, and I, synth Riders I'm glad is that also that super fun as well. Yeah, you know what also has a VR mode now? Uh, what? Spin Rhythm. Spin Rhythm has VR. Really? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I yeah. Know I don't that. know if it's ex I don't know if it's exclusive to PS VR, but it looks huh. really sick. Oh man, it looks really really cool. You should. I just I just realized, really Alec. We haven't checked in on Rocking Legend in years. We haven't. I do need to when check When it was it called out. Rocking Hero. It's gotten yeah, a lot Rocking of updates. Hero. From what yeah, I've I seen. I kind of want to check it out. I also want to try... Do you like, guys know uh, about this? Some... I don't think yeah. so. So okay. there's this yeah. game called Rocking Hero on Steam. It's and... called Rocking Legend now. And it's called Rocking Legend now because I, I assume that they got you know a notice saying like, Hey, this is a rhythm game with the word hero in it. Can you not? And so they probably just complied. But it it is quite literally just Clone Hero. It's just Clone in, Hero in VR. Uh, it's a VR in game. VR. Yeah. Now hmm. it's Rock Band. You VR. can play. You can play with a guitar controller if you want to, and the engine sucks, uh, <laughs> as it does. But you can play with just your your Oculus controllers, or if you have a Valve Index, then yeah, you the Valve Index the finger tracking, can, which is even more tracking. cursed. But it is. 
the idea is is that you move your controller up and down the neck of your guitar and then you strum with the other controller you don't you're not pressing any buttons if you're using like a quest controller or a rift controller because why would you because it's not very natural so instead you're moving a virtual hand up and down a neck and i think you can choose between three lanes or five lanes if you want to yeah. three or maybe it's three or four i don't remember i, I want to see when the i think i just ended up was. playing i ended up playing with a guitar controller anyway and well yeah it sucked but that was the last time i played it that was like five years ago yeah it's been i haven't even heard of this yeah nope, rocking no legend idea. The game's Locking like twenty legend. bucks, and you can put you can put your own songs a lot. in there and shit too. It okay. like supports like the the face shift song format, so like you just go ahead and use Onyx for like everything you want to do. Like I played like Freebird in VR, and like man, this sucks. Like I don't think there's Hopos the last time I played. You had to strum everything, so <laughs> you're sitting there going like this with the the Quest controllers, you're doing like that, and like you're just nah. Uh -uh. Hey, since we're talking about interesting ways of playing rhythm games, do you want to talk about um, uh, the, the the guy on Reddit who was asking about uh, Love Sense control for Clone Hero? Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> this is how we're ending things today? Really? Yeah, we yeah, can end on this. This is our ending. This is a happy ending. This was fucking hilarious. This is a happy ending, all right. This is a happy yeah. ending. There's a so guy a on, on the Clone Hero of Reddit uh, who made a post. Uh, is there any way to connect a Love Sense device to go off on a missed note per se? Mod link? And uh, if for those who aren't degenerates, you could basically just, you know, control a butt plug with the game is what he's asking for. Kind of. Oh, yeah. And maybe. then uh, there, there is a, a Twitter user called ButtPlugIO, uh, <laughs> open source sex toy software, um, who replied to Alec, who, who posted a screenshot of this on Twitter. That said, sure, I can take a look into making exactly what this Reddit user wants. And then uh, they replied to themselves, Oh, wait, I just looked through my Discord. One of our modders tried a few months ago. Clone Heroes obfuscated the hell and back, which makes modding extremely difficult. And Alec replied, Yarg is open source and is another Clone Hero type game. <laughs> and then, get this, get this. Hours later. Hours later, ButtPlugIO responded, yep, Kadu uh, Weingartner, I believe that's how you say it, showed Wadu. up in the thread elsewhere. Yeah, Wadu, Kadu Wadu. Why do heck? Uh, showed up in the thread elsewhere. Got the repo. Checking it out now. We got a C sharp library and the Unity plugin available that I just updated last week. Luckily, so this might be doable. But plug yarg might be real. <laughs> no, Yo. no, he, he got it working. Not no even way. Might. He did get it working. What? Amazing. He did. Sorry, I meant to. Time. I meant to send it, but he. Uh, this <laughs> dev actually did get it working. That's uh, there is a video. I what a great guy. I don't. This I don't exactly know what we if we can show. But Son there is a butt. video, a proof of concept. Yeah, I'm not this. putting this on the fucking screen. You guys are just gonna have to find this on your on your so own. So if you can explain it to the no, viewers just blur it out. Just blur it out. No, don't, so don't no, no, no. I want Jake to uh, explain this video. I can't. Yes. Um. So I, the video that you guys are not watching, I promise you that you're not watching this. I'm not putting this shit in. Uh, no pun intended. Um. <laughs> is it is a vertical can? It is a vertical uh, format. 9 by 16 video. On top is a uh, gameplay of Yarg. On the bottom is a keyboard with a uh, a vibrating butt plug uh, that is seemingly interacting with the notes that are being hit on the gameplay. <laughs> I didn't real. <laughs> um, if somebody I oh, <laughs> I no, don't even know what to say. Alec, you you've streamed on Kick a couple times. Nah, bro, we're doing this on Twitch. Ride or die, baby. <laughs> All right. Literally, ride, ride or die. die. Literally. Yeah, ride, I mean, <laughs> more like ride and die. My whole career dies. <laughs> nah, you know, you, know, you know who's going to use this? Probably Project Melody. <laughs> Yo, right, is bro. there a way to make it uh, go off when you get cheered bits? <laughs> Twitch integration? <laughs> oh my god, that's a problem. No, 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 no. This is gonna be the turning, that, that's a cam man. site at that point. I guarantee that exists for cam girls. It has to. Yeah, like, not on Twitch.tv. What, what's, what's, his what's his name is going to come out with an article like, we unfortunately have to ban butt plug streamers. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan Clancy Dan is going to get on stream. He's going to be like, listen, guys, I really didn't want to have to do this. but <laughs> you, you'd, have to, you'd have to like obfuscate what you're doing. You have to use code words and say, I, I, I couldn't even come up with different words to use. But yeah, I, the, I, people, my mind goes like, to... People like, oh, I missed. Yeah, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> 
We found an unfortunate hole in our streaming, and we must plug it. <laughs> I'm cheating Shut in chess right now, guys. I, I need to stop oh missing. <laughs> <laughs> My mind keeps going to a, a, pay, a pay money Wubby stream from a year or so ago, where it was a, a pancake baking stream where him and his boys they set up a tent in the uh, in the in the stream room, and uh, they were each going to take uh, take turns making their own different pancake batter in this tent, and then they're going to go uh, submit this pancake batter to the judge to to do various tests to see you know you know amount of pancake batter produced, um, potency of said pancake batter, and, and such. Uh, but essentially, they, 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 Wubby and three of his boys just jacked off in a tent on stream, and then they they tested their sperm to see the highest oh, sperm count, and that was a stream. Insane. And he didn't get banned because he kept saying we're making pancake batter. That's crazy. <laughs> and it was like, what oh, yo, this miss? tent this tent smells like pancake batter, guys. <laughs> it's like, oh, gross. It smells like some delicious pancake batter. I'm getting if you guys want a link, now. I can get you. <laughs> yeah, talk. this is this is it. Just like pay money, Wubby's. Sexual performance, we're over. Yeah, uh, that's Lore Here episode 33, guys. I'm sorry. 